Welcome to the Elevator World News Podcast. Proper training and safety practices start with you, the supervisor. Elevator World has put together a package to help you keep safety first. The supervisor's safety first package includes a manager's safety notebook, the seventh edition of safety meetings, and the service safety in the elevator industry DVD. You will also receive a free one-year digital subscription to Elevator World magazine when you purchase the Supervisor's Safety First package. To place your order and for more information on these products, visit elevatorbooks.com by clicking on the link in the show notes. This is your daily industry news update for November 8th, 2016. In today's news, Shanghai Tower is named CTBUH's best tall building of the year. Plans for what will be Cape Town's new tallest building are in the works. And Elevator Equipment Corporation presented training classes on control valves. The Council on Tall Buildings and Urban Habitat, or CTBUH, named Shanghai Tower in Shanghai, China, the best tall building worldwide during the 15th annual CTBUH Awards Ceremony and Dinner on November 3rd at the Illinois Institute of Technology in Chicago. The announcement followed a year-long selection process involving 132 entries from 27 countries, describing Shanghai Tower as, quote, the pinnacle of progressive skyscraper design, end quote. CTBUH said innovative features such as its double-skin facade and multi-story atria made it stand out from the three other regional best tall building winners, which are Via 57 West in New York City, Americas, the White Walls, Nicosia, Cyprus, Europe, and The Cube, Beirut, Lebanon, Middle East, and Africa. For more information about the awards, visit awards.ctbuh.org. Cape Town Magazine reports a new tallest building is on the drawing boards for Cape Town, South Africa, courtesy of FWJK Developments. The futuristic-looking tower would stand 42 stories on the northwest corner of Strand and Adderley Streets, surpassing the mother city's current tallest building, the 32-story Portside Tower. Zero to One would house approximately 620 apartments, 6,000 square meters of retail, 760 parking spaces, and a viewing platform open to the public. FWJK, which is also an architecture firm, has completed several other Cape Town projects, including Touchstone House and KMPG Place. Elevator Equipment Corporation, or EECO, presented two hydraulic control valve training classes on its control valves at Jersey Elevator in Aberdeen, New Jersey, on November 3rd. The 30 participants received four hours of Certified Elevator Technician, or CET, continuing education credit. Each session was made up of classroom instruction, a question and answer session, and practical valve adjustment and troubleshooting. For more industry-related information, visit us at elevatorworld.com and join our LinkedIn group page. Search for Elevator World Magazine Group or click the link in the show notes.